upgrades, some updates, and some new pieces, let's take a look at my 2020 everyday carry. But first, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Blinkist, which is an app I've been using for a while now. And what it does is it summarizes and rounds up all of the best parts of over 3,000 nonfiction books that you can either read or listen to in just 15 minutes. I really like it as kind of a quick way to learn and reinforce some key concepts about things that I am currently focusing on because the more you repeat it, the more likely it is to sink in. A couple books that I am loving at the moment and that I really recommend are Story Worthy by Matthew Dix. If you are at all interested in how to tell a compelling story about anything, definitely check that one out. And also a book that I read back in grad school that I've been thinking about recently is Bird by Bird by Anne Lamott. It's simple advice about writing well that I like to revisit whenever I can. If you're interested in signing up for Blinkist, the first 100 people to go to that link that I have down below in the description will get unlimited access for one week to try it out. Trial is completely free and you can cancel at any time. And then after the trial, if you do go for the full membership, you'll also get 25% off. They do have now a new full length audiobook feature as well. And premium subscribers get special member pricing, which is up to 65% off the regular price. Up first, the phone. I just upgraded from an iPhone 10 to the iPhone 12 Pro. Not the max size for me, that's just a little too big for my hand. Uh, one of the most amazing things about this phone, and you've probably heard it already, is the camera. Just completely incredible. Absolutely mind-blowing for a phone camera. The performance in low light in particular is ridiculous. Uh, and it takes awesome video. In fact, all of the overhead shots that you've seen in our videos recently, I've been taking with the iPhone. Good upgrade, super happy with it. Another Apple upgrade here, courtesy of my wife, I've got now the AirPods Pro. I'm never like the first person to jump on new Apple products, but I remember when these first came out that people were just crazy about them. And having these now myself, I can totally see or hear why. The biggest upgrade is the silicone tip, which secures it in your ear much better and gives it really great noise canceling capability. And there's also a transparency mode that allows you to hear what's going on around you while still getting a pretty awesome audio experience. Next is a holdover from last time, no need to upgrade here, and that is my Goyard card case. Little piece of luxury that I enjoy carrying around. Not a big wallet person or a big wallet person, so I much prefer the slim profile of a card case like this. Gotta have a mask these days, and this is the one I've been taking with me quite often. It's by Michael Andrews. We have them available in the shop. This one is wool. Love the plaid pattern. Full coverage. The chin cup is a great addition for comfort and for helping it fit better. The elastic straps are adjustable. It's got a bendable wire nose bridge. Benberg lining with a pouch for a filter if you wanted to use one. I've worn a few different kinds of masks since the beginning of the pandemic, and I have to say that this one is the best looking and most comfortable that I have found. I always carry a pen with me, and the one that I've been enjoying recently is the Parker Jotter. I like how it writes. It's got a really nice feel in the hand, very light. You may remember this as the pen that Q gives James Bond in Goldeneye that is actually tricked out as a class four grenade. Three clicks to arm it and three clicks to disarm it. The pen is mightier than the sword, as they say. I like to carry a notebook as well. And if I'm not carrying around a bag, this little field notes notebook is just great for slipping in a pocket. As I mentioned before, I like to write ideas down when I have them and doing it in the phone is a surefire way for me to never see them again. I always forget that I wrote them down. Writing them in a notebook though is a much better method of keeping track of things for me. I'm including the watch that I've been wearing most these days and that is my new Omega Speedmaster, first Omega in space. It's such a great everyday watch that looks good on pretty much any strap you put it on, though my favorite has been the suede strap that I have it on here. If you want the full story on why I decided to buy this watch and add it to the collection, even though I thought I would never be a Speedmaster owner, I did a complete video on all of that that is linked right up there. It's cold out now, which means I'm wearing a hat a lot more, which means that when I take my hat off, that I need to fix my hair. So I always have with me this little pocket comb. It's made by Abby Horn for us. As you can see, we have the HSS monogram on the comb as well as a leather sheath. We're currently sold out of these, but there are still some of the larger dressing combs available. Another little upgrade here for my keys. This is a leather key ring by Ettinger. It's a British brand, so it uses what is considered the most traditionally English of leathers 
bridal hide in a beautiful green color, which is a great pairing with the gold hardware. The shape of the D-ring here is actually inspired by the handle anchors of Ettinger's traditional attache cases. And on the end of those bulbs, a really great detail with the etched Ettinger monogram. Well, in addition to it being colder now, it's also getting darker a lot sooner and the dog still needs to go for walks. So when I go out for that, I've always got a flashlight with me. And a while ago, I did actually splurge on this flashlight here. This is the Beagle by Mouchant. It's machined from titanium. It's a nice size that fits really well in the hand and the weight feels really good in the hand. It's got five beam intensities that you can activate with a half push of the power switch. Believe it or not, I consider a small flashlight to be an essential accessory for any guy. You don't need a Mouchant and in the video, I did on the 15 essential accessories for guys, I have a much more budget-friendly alternative. Find out what that is along with the 14 other essential accessories by clicking on that video right over there.